Merry Christmas from all of us here at EastIdahoNews.com. This isn't all of us, but it's some of us. Also from Secret Santa, an anonymous person who has asked us to help him give away a million dollars this Christmas. We are about to surprise a woman named Erica. She lives in Rexburg. She is an ambitious, driven young lady. She went into nursing because she grew up watching a brother suffer with chronic health issues. She received her CNA license at 16, LPN two years ago, and completed a bachelor's degree in health sciences last year. She is not one to ask for help, but recently the past year has been very difficult. Her husband, Brock, at age 25, was diagnosed with Huntington's disease the same week they discovered they were expecting their second child. This is a rare hereditary terminal disease, like a combination of having ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. Brock's father passed away at age 42 of the same disease. Each child has a 50% chance of inheriting the disease. They call it the devil's disease. Brock's son, Gunner, lives with Erica and Brock full time, and he was diagnosed with Huntington's at age six, just over the summer. He's in the middle stages. Juvenile Huntington's is extremely rare. Gunner may have maybe five years left to live. Brock may have 10 years, and it's been devastating news for the family. While Erica was expecting, Brock was no longer able to work or drive due to some of the symptoms he's experiencing. In March, they could no longer afford to pay rent. They moved into her parents' basement. While she was recovering from a C-section with a two-week-old baby, the basement flooded from a neighborhood construction accident that was mixed with sewage. The entire family was then displaced. They had to stay with Brock's grandparents. Recently, they have been approved to move into housing, but Erica cannot work because she needs to care for her husband and her children. They also need a reliable vehicle because they soon may need two wheelchairs in their family. So Secret Santa wants to help out the family. He has a few gifts for him. He has a $1,000 check and $2,000 to Maverick gas cards. We also have a $10,000 check and we have this minivan full of diapers. This whole thing is chock full of diapers and wipes for their two babies and they have no idea that we're coming. It's going to be a secret Santa delivery to remember. Let's head to Rexburg. <laughs> Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Forgive our singing. Are you Erica? Yes, I am. Okay, we're at the right house. Good. How are you? I'm Nate with East Idaho News and crew. Yeah, I've seen you guys on the news. Have you? Did yeah, you ever yes. think we'd show up at your door? No. No? Well, Secret Santa heard about you. Anybody else home? Oh, I've got everybody here. Hi. How old's this little guy? 18 months. 18 months, so talking? Kind of. A little bit? <laughs> Trying. And how many others do you have? I have a three month old and we have a seven year old. Okay. And there's my husband. Yeah. And you guys have had kind of a rough year from what I understand? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's been rough. <laughs> how are things today? Um, Hi, buddy. Okay. This is my little guy. How are you? High five? Good to see you. This is a microphone. Who's this? And what's his name? This is Gunner. Gunner. Oldest, I have sweetest, going through the most. <laughs> he looks adorable. <laughs> a Secret Santa, as I said, asked us to come and bring you some presents, early Christmas gifts. Uh, I, we're glad you're in your own place because we heard your old place flooded. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, do you feel comfortable sharing yeah, that story? It's, it's a story. So yeah. we were, well, we were living in our in a home. And then, <laughs> like, funny. Yeah. And then let's not ring it right now, okay? And then um, our house sold, and with the rental market like it is, it was bad, and my husband's Hi. health was Hi. deteriorating. Hi. Um, so we decided we move in with my family, my parents. Um, and then about a month after our little girl was born, the basement flooded. It was I think you guys actually reported on it in the news. Um, one so, of several homes, right? Yeah. yeah. So we were completely displaced. <laughs> and so we went to live with my mm -hmm. husband's grandparents for about a month. And we've lived here now for about a month. <laughs> 
Yes. And your husband has Huntington's disease. Yeah. And so does your little boy. Yeah. And for those people that aren't familiar with that, because it's not talked about a lot, what is that? So it's a neurodegenerative disorder. So it's a brain, a, um, a fatal brain disease that just pretty much eats away like at the nerves. Um, and it's kind of a slower progressing disease, but the younger onset, the faster it goes. And so for him, um, there's not really a I, I don't know if I've ever heard of a child this young having Huntington's. It's, it's extremely rare of the rare. Um, when it is passed from the dad, it has a chance for the mutation sequence of, in the gene to expand um, a lot. And so we noticed several years ago, he was having a really hard time. Hunt. And when we found out what's what my husband had, we looked at him and we were like, oh, that's what he has. So. They call it the devil's disease, right? Because it's an ALS combination kind of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's? That's, yep, that's how we explain it to people. <laughs> it is a combination of the three, um, oh. pretty much. Well, um... Hey, Gunner, it is so cold, honey. Such a, I know such you a cute boy. We'll, we'll hurry up so you guys can get warm. We did want to bring some gifts from the Secret Santa okay. because... He wanted to make your holiday a little brighter. You want to open that, buddy? That lid just pops right off. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that might be hard to read. There's $500 on each of those gas cards. Are you serious? And there's four of them. So there's, and then there's something underneath. The, so that's $2,000 in gas cards. And there's a thousand dollar check. You can get a Christmas present. Are you gonna eat the microphone? <laughs> we have one more thing for you. Somebody in this crowd of people has it. There you go. Open that, buddy. Can you pull the lid off? There you go. We're sure. We've never been more sure. <laughs> no idea how much this is going to help us. <laughs> we have a lot going on right now. And you can't work away from the home, right? Because you've got to care for Gunner and your husband. I'm trying to get back into work. I'm a nurse. Oh, you are a nurse. I work really part-time. Um, I just accepted another part-time job because we're, just, we're drowning. <laughs> well, we have one more smaller gift for you, and then we'll let you guys get back to, your, to your evening. You're fine. What is that? Case. Can you get it? I sold it. Oh, you got the tag. Good job. <laughs> that doesn't say much, but that's the key to a minivan. Really? It's right out here. Oh my gosh. That is. We have one more thing inside the minivan. Do you want to come out and see it? Yeah. Do you guys have a vehicle that fits you all? Well, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Right here. Um, oh my gosh, that's definitely going to fit us all. <laughs> and then come here, that we want to show you. This was our favorite part of all of this. This is full of diapers. And wipes. And it's like my favorite brand too. <laughs> oh, is it good? Good. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. We tried to get every brand that we could think of and every size. So Well, we have kids in every size. <laughs> yeah, we figured. We were trying to put the math together. We'll help you carry this all in because it is chock full, but yeah. we want you to get inside and start your new minivan. Okay. Oh wow. I could tell you my car situation right now. Yeah, what are you driving? Well, our main driver is in the shop because my husband crashed it, and when he did that, we decided you're done driving. <laughs> but we're trying to sell it, so that's the only way we can sell it is to fix it. Um, grandparents gave us that car there, the Suburban, mm -hmm. and then we had to get a rental because we can't get it registered due to illegalities. So. so you're driving a rental? We're driving a rental this week. Oh my gosh. It's been a nightmare. <laughs> 
Well, this isn't a rental, this is yours. Sure? All the taxes have been paid, all the fees, just hit that unlock button. Okay. And then you're gonna need to, to start it. You just put your foot on the pedal and push the button that's next to the steering wheel. It oh, wow. That's fancy. It is fancy. Leather seats. I think it has a monitor in the back for the kids. You can't see much because it's full of diapers, but you can explore once we leave. Oh, wow. Who's this from? It's secret. I can't tell you. <laughs> okay. But they might be watching if you want to say anything to them. Well, I just want to say thank you <laughs> so much because <laughs> it's been a rough year. It's been a rough couple years, <laughs> mm -hmm. really. Um, this helps so much. Wow. Well, we'd love to take all the diapers in for you. Yeah, I would love that. And then uh, I'm sure everybody here would love to give you a hug as well. I would, I would love that. You would have to tell me how to turn it off. Okay, turn it off, just push the button. Okay. <laughs>